in this week of giving thanks. We here at Newswatch 16 want to say thank you to all the troops serving our country, both here and abroad. Newswatch 16's Brandy Meng is just back from Iraq, where she spent some time with our area troops that are there. Brandy. Well, Scott, it was certainly an amazing trip. Chief Photographer Paul Cabasa and I spent five days at the Al-Assad Air Base, where about 550 soldiers from our area are stationed. We spent time visiting with the 109th Infantry Unit out of Scranton, which also includes a member of the 103rd out of Lewisburg and Williamsport. That unit is attached to the 109th for now. The days are long at Al-Assad and the nights are busy, but the soldiers are staying strong. Al-Assad is the largest air base in western Iraq and is the central point for air cargo. From here, military equipment and other supplies are divided up and sent to smaller camps and bases. Before the war, Al-Assad was known as one of Saddam Hussein's premier air bases, but it was also known for something else. I'm standing in the middle of a soccer field. It is here where Uday, one of Saddam's sons, trained and observed Olympic hopefuls. Today, a very different scene. The air base is operated by the United States Marines. The 109th National Guard Unit, which is mostly comprised of soldiers from northeastern and central Pennsylvania, is responsible for security on and off the base. That means escorting and protecting convoy missions. Preparing for an overnight convoy such as this one to Ramadi starts early. By mid-afternoon, soldiers are loading up on food, water, and gas making sure there's plenty of each should the mission change and last longer than expected. Before every mission that the convoys go out on, they come down and, and check the weapon systems and ensure they're mission ready, all properly uh, functioning and, and ready to go out and do the mission. 50 caliber machine guns, uh, Mark 19 uh, automatic grenade launchers, and 240 Bravo machine guns as well. An afternoon briefing informs the soldiers of any activity in the area where the convoy will be traveling. The route is laid out and the convoy vehicles are put in order. Each unit has its own little special things that they like to do, little uh, mantras or little ceremonies and things that they do that they feel helps bring them luck, gives them confidence, whatever they do. For these soldiers, displaying the stars and stripes has become a ritual. And a lot of people send us American flags. What we do is we uh, put one on each on the vehicles when we get them, uh, run one mission with them, take photographs of them, and then send them uh, either the flag or the pictures of the flag back to the people that sent them to us. So far, these soldiers say every vehicle they've displayed the American flag on has been blessed. Every one has returned safely. A symbol that gives the soldiers confidence and a sign from home where they know prayers are being said. Before the convoy starts, two more rituals happen. Who's got the joke? <laughs> a joke for humor and a prayer for safety. And coming up at 11, the soldiers take one of our cameras out on that mission, and we're going to show you through their eyes what it's like to actually be on a convoy security detailed mission. Uh, Scott, I see you've already gotten into the MRE. We yes. do want to show everyone exactly what the soldiers take when they go out on these missions. This is what they call a ready-to-eat meal. Uh, in this meal, there is uh, some type of uh, chicken or some type of an actual meal part where they actually take this, and we have some video to show you how they heat it up. This is the heating component, and as you see, you pour water in this component, you'll slip the chicken or the chicken. beef stroganoff or whatever it is inside. You'll see the, the heating unit then cre creates a boil with the water, and then you have, that's actually chicken salsa, which I tried, which is very good. Oh, how about that? But uh, as you can see back here, they, they also come with, this is carrot pound cake. I'm having some peanut butter here. Yes, you are. Not bad. And this is uh, bread. So, I mean, this is what the soldiers eat when they're out on their missions. They don't know if they're going to be three-hour missions or it could turn into four-day missions uh, when you go, so you have to be prepared. And you'll be back here tonight for News Watch 16 at 11. Well, we're going to have a story for you at 11. They're going to take you on that mission to Ramadi. A lot of fun, Randy. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. And the peanut butter's not half bad. 